This is ZTE Axon 20 5G and today I would like to share the top 5 pro tips and features for this device. So without further ado, let's begin. The first tip that I have for today is how you can uh, very conveniently and hassle-free set up the fingerprint recognition, screen lock or screen unlock method. So open settings, then enter security, tap at the fingerprint section over here, change what backup screen lock method you would like to go uh, alongside the biometrical one. So I'll go with pattern, then set up whatever password you, you have opted for. And after that, we can start registering the fingerprint. As you can see, the sensor is located underneath the screen at the bottom part of your display. So, well, just gradually lay and lift your finger, or rather fingertip, onto the sensor. Make sure to slightly rotate each time you do that so the entire surface of your fingerprint will be correctly scanned. Focus uh, at lay in the areas of your fingerprint fingerprint that have yet to be scanned, which you can uh, understand by this little visual representation. So as you can see, I can uh, very clearly understand what fingerprint edge I haven't scanned yet or I haven't enrolled yet. So just try to lay your finger so that it will be uh, at the scanner. So once the fingerprint is added, we can obviously start using it. So let's test it out. Yep, so it works just fine. Will not recognize any other fingerprints, so secure as well. The next option I wanted to share, you can find at the display category. It is called the display or screen refresh rate. So, well, here it is. Uh, two values to set, either 60 or 90 hertz. Higher value will get you smoother and, uh, well, more pleasant visual visuals and interface animations, but uh, it will slightly uh, increase the power consumption. So if you, well, do not care about smoothness, but rather would like for your device to run longer on a single battery charge, you can opt for 60 Hertz. If uh, main maintaining sufficient battery is something that you are not worried about, but you would prefer seeing everything more smooth, or more smoothly, silkierly, uh, just opt for the 90 Hertz. The next uh, option or the next tip for today is how you can enable the always on display feature. You gotta simply go into home screen and lock screen category, then just open the always on display page. In here, you can enable it by toggling on the switch. In here, uh, at the same page, you can either make it so that it will, it will be shown at all times or perhaps set some custom schedule for it to be shown at uh, or in between certain time frames. You can also go into more style section and pick some other style from the list of available ones. Some of them you can customize. For example, you can uh, set up some custom text as your AOD. Then change the font for this text as well as color or even the gradient increase or decrease the font size. Increase the font weight, weight, change the letter spacing and line spacing as well. Then you can align it to your, to match your preferences. Then do not forget to apply the changes. And that's how my custom AOD looks like. So moving on to the next option I wanted to share is the uh, home screen animation and, or rather home screen transition animation and how you can change it. So make the shrinking swipe like that, then go into the effect section and in here simply choose the animation that you like the most. So this one will do. And already, the fifth and final tip is how you can enable the flashlight shortcut for the locked screen. So if you uh, at some point think that you will need to quickly and well, a shortcut or motion for uh, quickly enabling and disabling the flashlight, 
uh, of this font perhaps you will need to enlighten or highlight something you can absolutely do that by going for the features category of settings then gesture and motion and in here simply switch on the shake to turn on flashlight toggle now once your screen is locked you can make the following shake or well the chopping motion well for some reason it does not work so let me see if i've actually enabled it or turned it on yep i absolutely did so you need to shake it back and forth twice Well, it might be tricky to activate. For some reason, it does not want to work. Which is fairly odd, because if I will open up the Try It menu, as you can see, it gets enabled and disabled, no problem. So, I'm not sure what is the case in my uh, well, with my issue or with the issue that I'm having, but I suggest I might try disabling the always on display and see whether that will help. So let's see. Hmm. It certainly does not. Already, yeah, I was. So that that, that was completely my bad. So as it turned out, when they mean the lock screen, they mean not the turned off screen, but rather you have to at least open the lock screen. So this one and then this motion will work no problem. Yep, so that's my bad. Sorry for the hold off. But I guess it could have been a bit more clear at the, well, uh, work nature of this feature. But well, that's whatever. It still makes it very useful. So already that will be it for this video, guys. If you found this, uh, well, we'll review or overview helpful do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel bye bye